one sec, I'm just gonna finish this email, okay? you been? Well, I know where you've been, but welcome back. So much has happened since you left work last Monday. Yeah, I know it's crazy. No, shh. We gotta be quiet. Yeah, they can hear. Jack made me keep the door open because he knows that I like to gossip with my best friend, you. <laughs> but so much has just happened. I need to tell you, Teresa, got deported. Yeah, you know the secretary? The secretary that, that was Jack's secretary? Yeah, I'll tell you all about it. I literally, I have a couple emails, but I'll do it later. I have my coke. I'm just gonna, like, I need to tell you what's happened. Okay, it's been crazy how the whole story happened. Yeah, because Teresa was new. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Teresa was new. Yeah, she was a new hire that, remember, like two weeks ago? So much happened. And then also with that, Jack is also go going to jail, which is absurd. Like, there's just so much that happened, and I need to, like, fill you in. Um, but how was your vacation, though, Ohio? Oh, I don't want that one. Mm -hmm. I know, I'm still so surprised. Mm -hmm. I know I got this from my favorite coffee shop. I'm surprised that you still go to Ohio for vacation. I know you like water parks and stuff, but to be honest, I think it's kind of lame. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Water park was good. How are the kids? Mm -hmm. I would have thrown up too. I would have totally thrown up if I went up that loop de loop. Crazy. Okay, so pray, here's the deal. So, Teresa. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one night I was working. You know how I like to work late? And there are a lot of days I'd also don't come into work, but I was going off my off hours because, you know, we can come in whenever we want, right? So. I came in around 5 p.m. I was going to work until midnight, you know, because your boy likes to go to the gym and I like to party in the day. So I came here and it was really, really busy because we had those three projects. Yeah, one with uh, Next Door Studios and we also had one for Panera Bread and then we also had one for, um, oh, what was that? Oh, what was it? The Chip Ahoy Company? Yeah, so I was sitting here doing my work, and Jack, who's no longer in his normal office, did you notice that? You didn't notice that? Well, look around, there's no one in the office anymore, because what happened was I was here, and I was doing my typey-typey, I was working, working, working really hard, um, and it was late, there was no one here except for the janitor, you know Bobby? Bobby the janitor, yeah, he's kind of big, he has that like weird scruff. He's the one that I told you about the two kids that, you know, went to that football game and that whole crazy thing that happened with the hot dogs. I told you, yes, the hot dogs, and they went down the throat and they kind of like choked on them and then they, there's a whole like fiasco was on the news because this dog saved them. They were both choking this dog, like CPR. Yeah, you saw that, right? So Bobby was here, I was here, and then Jack was here. And someone else was here as well. AKA Teresa. Now, Teresa is Jack's assistant, right? Which is, that's expected, but basically, this is what was happening. I was typing and I kept hearing this weird growl noise, like, think like a dog, like the dog, think like a dog. And I kept hearing this weird growl and it was like, arr, arr. and um, I thought it was coming from Jack's room and Bobby was with me. Bobby and I like to get drinks. We, we, we chat a lot about a lot of stuff. I think Bobby's kind of into me, not gonna lie. I mean, who wouldn't be into me, you know? How's my day in life? Yeah, it hasn't been going too well. I'll tell you all about it though in a sec because I need to 
tell you about Teresa and Jack. So there was this growl, and I was like, oh my god, it's coming from their room. And I was like, that's really fascinating. And I was like, ah, oh, it's probably them watching one of those dog videos, you know, how we do all that client-facing um, work where we, like, analyze, you know, their customers. And so we are our customers, their, our clients, or... Um, um, not Toys R Us, but Petco, their clients are dogs, so we like to watch dog videos to really get in their head, right? So, I know you're not in that department, so you wouldn't understand. So I was, like, hearing growling, so I was like, oh my god, that's, like, totally what's happening from that room. So I, I keep letting let it go, and then I hear, Daddy, stop, and I said, well, and I was like, whoa, there's no dads here, so that was a little, a little strange. Um... And what ended up happening was, I was talking to Bobby, Bobby looked at me and says, there's no dads here because, you know, Jack doesn't have any kids, he's not married, and Bobby is uh, gay, and uh, I'm single and mingling, you know, and so we were like, that's interesting that someone calls someone a daddy, and we immediately were like, wait, something interesting is happening, something suspicious, so we basically tiptoe, we creep, 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 and we go basically to his room, and his room has those big windows, you know, mm -hmm to look out into the middle of the thing. I think he didn't realize we were there because what I saw next was, you're not gonna guess what I saw next. Can you guess what I saw next? I literally saw Jack on the ground, on his hands and knees with a leash around his neck. And he was barking and he had the leash connected to Teresa. Teresa was in these really high heels, she was in this like leather outfit, she looked like a dominatrix, I think, and I was like, oh, this is interesting, this is role-playing, but then she was like, daddy, no, and then he was like, keep it going, and I was like, this is weird, like, I'm not used to romance, I thought it was a role-play, like, they were really going for it, but then something that was weird that happened was, um, Jack started, like, running around on the ground like a dog, and, um, Basically, he um, lifted his leg up and went to the um, that plant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did it. He did it, and I saw it, and I was like, that is impressive. I can't believe adults can do that. But again, he was a dog. He was a dog. Boom. Basically what happens is Bobby was like, let's record this because we can make millions. And I was like, this could make, this would be really fun. So I was like, Bobby, let's grab out your phone. But when Bobby grabbed out his phone, his flashlight was on. So when he pulls it out, the flashlight hits the like glass and their eyes turn and they freeze. And I couldn't stop it. Yell, we gotcha. <laughs> you know me, I love humor. So I yell, gotcha. And, uh, they were embarrassed, um, they froze, Jack still barked, I don't know why he was still in dog form, and Teresa just ran out of the room, she, like, skimpered out, and I was surprised, um, that this all happened, right, so Bobby and I basically just stand still, and Jack just, just like, sits there, and nothing happens for, like, an hour, until the elevator Dings. We look across the room. It's like pitch black. And the elevator opens. And there is Jack's wife. Billy Bobby. Billy Bobby. Billy Bobby was there. And she was standing. She was standing. And you know how I said that they don't have kids? Well, I guess I was wrong because Billy Bobby was holding a child. And apparently, between you and I, they had just adopted a kid. I know, they adopted a kid named Jackson. And Billy Bobby was bringing Jackson over to see Jack. Well, apparently for this role play, Jack can't exit out of being a dog until his master tells him to. So Billy Bobby brings the kid over to Jack's office and he's just in dog form. And Bobby and I, are hiding at this point because we're like, this is crazy. Billy Bobby sees John, spits on him, says, you are a lousy son of a father. 
how dare you? And all John can do is bark. So John's just barking. And I'm like, whoa, this is wild. This is so crazy. Meanwhile, Teresa's in the bathroom, I think. If Teresa's nowhere to be seen, but this is what's crazy. I hear Billy Bobby go, it was this, who did this to you? And he's still barking, Jack. And she goes, did Teresa make you do this? And John goes, mm-hmm. And Billy Bobby said, you need to deport her. And I was like, I can't believe I'm hearing this. And you, you, guess what? I literally, I have a voice memo of it on my phone and I'll send it to you. She said, we gotta deport her. And she was like, if anyone finds out about this, your career and my career are over and our son that's newly adopted will not have a life in America. So Billy Bobby takes, takes Jack picks him up because he's a dog and walks him to the elevator and they say goodbye and I was like Bobby and I were eating chips at this point because their conversation took too long and we got bored so we were just like in my, my uh, office right here and we were chatting and just listening and stuff but yeah isn't that crazy mm -hmm. and then I come the next day and Jack is fine um, but Teresa's nowhere to be, be, be seen and literally we get an email saying Teresa got deported and Teresa you know Teresa she was such a lovely woman she was a little weird she was very short and had really long hair that went past her her feet and she um remember that time at the Christmas party where she I know a Christmas party was like two weeks ago she's because she's new hire but do you remember what you, remember what she did you and I we were drunk in the bathroom and we were kind of crying and laughing and just having a ball of emotions because you had recently just got divorced do you remember and your uh, cat died and it was just really sad so yeah how are you doing about that by the way you're good okay great well she was there to hug us and um she said those really amazing words being like there are cats everywhere don't cry and um i still think about that today i think that was really wise for her to say those things to us um you didn't like Teresa. Well, that's fair. I mean, you had just lost her cat, so it's okay. But um, she's gone. Yeah, you can see her desk. There's no one there. All that's on the um, like bulletin, it just goes, Teresa got deported. Frowny face. I made that sign because I know a lot of people don't understand why she left. So um, Jack deported her. It was actually Jack's wife deported her. But what's fascinating, too, is that Jackson Warren in his office because I think he has really bad memories in that space. Um, you know how space really like holds energy. Like right here, we love our, this energy because like you and I are just like really best friends, right? Mm hmm Well, so yeah, that really happened. And then Jack, I found out, was gonna get arrested because um, he's smuggling cocaine um, through the coffee in our um, office, which is really wild. Um, yeah, he like moved offices, and then we found it was actually me and Bobby again. I would I would have went you, but you're new. Like, you been gone for oh, oh, to Ohio. I mean, like you're newly back here, and um, it was just so crazy. As we were getting some some coffee, and um, Bobby actually opened the bag and split it in half by accident because you know how we like to play those that that like knife game where we like toss knives at things. So we were tossing it out of the bag and it exploded this white powder. And I was like, that's weird because coffee is brown, you know, like coffee is not white. And so that was just like really weird. Um, but that's what happened. And so we called 911 um, and uh, he got arrested yesterday. They came up and they had a search warrant and they found all the cocaine and he's now in jail. Um, that's why we had a really early day yesterday. I know it was really like, HR really didn't like tell anyone in the email what happened, but that's why I made another sign that's on the bulletin board that says that Jack went to jail. Um, so yeah, I don't know the future of our company. You and I still have jobs because you and I are amazing and don't worry, I stick up for my bestie. I, I, I tell people that you are a hard worker because you are, you are a very hard worker. But man oh and also it's just so wild i know i'm single but my ex-husband and i are expecting a, a kid as well i know it's not so exciting i know i'm excited although i don't like him at all 
Um, I think we're gonna name him Charlie after my dead dog because I miss my dead dog. But, oh, I totally forgot to. They're also gonna interview um, in like two hours, the police. I meant to email you about it, but don't worry, just like lie about everything. Just say you were there, like do it for the plot, you know? I know you're in Ohio, but it'd be kind of fun if you like gave a story, like you could say you're with me or between you and I, I think Jack should stay in jail. So I think you should talk about how you're allergic to cocaine and maybe how you like drink it one day in one afternoon and how like maybe that's the reason why your cat died. Because you were like really energetic and you were like going home, driving home really fast and you accidentally ran over him. I think that's a really good story. I think we should stick with that because we need to get him out. Okay. And between you and I, that's the game plan. I think between you and I, our game plan should be to go into Jack's position. And I think we can set ourselves up well because HR is already really mad at me, but they're not mad at you. And if you co cooperate, 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 you know what I mean? If you cooperate with my story, I think it'll give us credibility where we can out sway the rest of the coworkers and company to give us reign and give us power. This is a democracy. I mean, I know we're not going to vote, but it would be really cool if you and I ran this company. I don't know, I've never really been in kinks to being a dog, but I feel like when you're in a, a position of power, like, I totally understand why you'd be, like, wanting to be submissive like a dog. Kind of makes sense. Also, but J J Jack yells all the, all the time, all day. So, like, I'm so glad he's not there. I can do my meditation. I can do my ASMR. I can watch the next Ramble ASMR. You know how I love that. Are you subscribed to him yet? Girl. Or guy, whoever the hell you are. I know, I sometimes can't tell what you are, but it's okay. You look great either way. You should subscribe. I love him. Nick's Ramble is so good. I'm in the membership too. Just press the join button. It's like the price of a coffee. You know, and you and I, we get coffees. We don't even remember coffees that we have like every month for work, right? We just drink them down and we don't remember, but I pay the, that price for the, his membership and I get, like, there's so many fun people all over the world. I get to grow my little bee and it's like little hive, which is really cute. You know how I love bees. And he's like just such a great person, so like wholesome and he's like building a really cool community. Like he gives me the energy and the power to like do what I do on a daily basis. Like, is he a little weird and a little crazy sometimes? Yes, but like everyone else there is amazing. So do it because I want to see you there. And let's go grow his channel, like, subscribe and like it and stuff. That's what I do every day. Like, on my off time when I'm not emailing and I'm not talking to you, I just go to his, to his channel and I like everything. Also, he does lives and I, like, do the bell notification, the notification bell, whatever it's called, blah, 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 blah. And his lives are really good, too. So I think we should become bosses and then we should, I think, donate a good portion of the funds to his channel every year. What? That's what between you and me. I gotta get back to work though because like so much has been happening but let me know how you've been doing i'm sorry about your cat i hope ohio and your kids are doing okay i know the divorce is really rough stay with it if you can do me that big favor and you can lie to the police so we can become the power couple let me know um i can also send your ex-husband i mean email do you mean like threaten him or something i can pretend i'm the irs That'd be fun. Why not just provide my pretend I'm the IRS? No? Okay. Well, if you change your mind, just give me his email and I'll do it. Um, but I'm so glad you're back from Ohio. Okay, you gotta go too? Okay, cool. We'll chat soon. Um, have a good day. I'll see you later. Okay. Yeah. And don't say anything about Jack or anything only say what's on the bulletin board, okay? But nothing that I told you except for the police, okay? We gotta keep our secrets, you and I. Okay? Okay. Bye.
Maybe I can smoke all her back in. We'll find out.